Hey guys, Tech Girl 88 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Ubuntu on the AO722 Acer Leader. So as you can see, I'm already in the live USB of Ubuntu. Um, we can try it or we can install it at this point. We're going to click to install it. And so here we go, it's showing us um, all the things, the requirements we need to meet. Saying we're not connected to the internet, um, we'll fix that in a step going forward. We can also choose to install third party software, but we didn't, as you see. And so here's our network. We're going to connect to it. And type it in the password. Click that connect button. It's just kind of taking a second to uh, to connect. All right, here we go. Uh, we can choose to install Ubuntu alongside Windows Seven, or we can replace Windows Seven. We're going to choose to install alongside Windows Seven. Alright, so here is where we're going to configure our time zone. Um, just type in the nearest uh, major city by you. For me, it's Detroit. And that's going to pick the correct time zone and set your time correctly. And we're just going to wait for this to load. Alright, so here we get to choose the keyboard layout. Um, unless you like any fancy options, just can continue on with the uh, English and then English for the settings. Um, but you can also use Mac, Macintosh and other settings as you can see. Alright, so here we're going to type in our name. And you can see it's picking up my computer to kind of add on to the computer name and that kind of differentiates it from my other computers in the house which is a good thing believe me bit of a computer hoarder alright so we're typing in our password and we had to confirm the password so we're going to type it again now we can we can click to log in automatically or require a password to log in um, we're going to click to require the password to log in for uh, good security. Alright, so here it's asking us for our email address to join Ubuntu One. Ubuntu One is storage. Um, I don't have any interest in it, so I'm not going to sign up for it here. And so, right now, it's going to install Ubuntu on the computer. Um, I'm going to stop the recording here and resume it once we've completed it, um, please note that the installation can take, uh, you know, as many as 20-30 minutes to complete, um, so kind of be patient, uh, don't do anything to the computer, make sure it's plugged in to power before you uh, install Ubuntu like this, because um, it can take a while. So I'll pause the recording here. Alright, and we're back as you can see it's finishing the installation of the system. Uh, should just take a few more seconds and here we go, we can see that the installation is complete now. Um, so we can restart it now to reboot the computer.
Alright, so as you can see, it is getting ready to reboot the computer. And so right now we're going to unplug our USB flash drive that we used to install Ubuntu to make sure it doesn't boot back into that. And so now we're going to see the uh, Grub bootloader. We can choose to boot into 107 or Ubuntu from here. Alright, so you can see some, you're going to be seeing some command lines here. Uh, not a big issue unless it simply stops booting, but as you can see it's booting up just fine. Alright, there's our mouse cursor. Always a good sign. And there's our logon screen. We're going to type in that password that we set earlier during the installation. And normally it's not going to take this long to boot up, but because it's the first boot after installation, it takes a little longer. It's the same thing with pretty much any operating system. You'll notice that when you install um, Windows on your computer. Alright, and here we go. We now have Ubuntu 13.04 uh, on the computer. Um, everything's working good. Got our Wi-Fi. It recognizes our battery. And it'll take some time to pick up on the battery life. Um, it might not always be accurate until it's um, been on the computer for a while. So we'll open the Firefox web browser. Um, as always, you can install other web browsers. You can put Chrome or pretty much any other compatible Ubuntu or Linux uh, web browser on there. And here we go. Google's working. Uh, successful installation. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to comment and ask me below. Uh, I'll see you in my next video. Peace.